Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. I am going to be sharing with you guys a week of my workouts um, in this video for this month's fitness video. I am doing really well on sharing fitness content at least once a month with you guys and so I thought I would share another week of my workouts with you guys. But before we get into the week, I'm actually starting it off a week sooner than what you guys are gonna see because this week I'm actually intentionally not working out. So as you can tell, I am not sick. <laughs> I am not on vacation. I, there is no reason for me to take a week off of working out, right? Wrong. If you're someone who works out consistently four to five days a week and works out intensely and is breaking down your body and your muscles, then you should schedule in a deload week or like a very light workout week to allow your body to fully rest and recover. So I was recently flipping through my planner and my, my new planner that I'm in this year obviously started in January and I realized that I have not done that since I started my planner. So it's the end of March now, which means it's been at least three months since I took a solid week off. And we were out of town over the weekend. We were walking like 20,000 steps and um, I just feel a little tired. So I thought, you know, maybe it's time for me to take like a deload week. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, it doesn't mean I'm gonna literally sit down and do nothing, but it means that I'm not gonna be doing high intensity workouts and weightlifting. I'm gonna take a week off. I'm gonna stretch, I'm gonna just walk. Like I'm just gonna, take a breather and then next week start back with my regular routine which you guys are going to see but I wanted to share with you how I'm doing like a deload week so right now I'm actually going to stretch um, and then that'll be that for the day so I just wanted to explain that if you're someone who works out consistently and you are working out to the point of soreness muscle building training for anything you do need to program scheduled time off and it doesn't always have to be when you're on vacation um you know so i just wanted to share that with you guys and we'll pick this up next week when i am back to my regularly scheduled workout programming you guys good morning um it is bright and early and i am on my phone because i did not bring my camera i'm getting ready to go in and get my high intensity uh workout done starting off the week strong um with this style workout bright and early so that i have a full day to dedicate to mom life and homeschooling and getting a bunch of things done Oftentimes when I'm, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Oftentimes when I know that I have a crazy day, the best thing for me to do is get my workout done right of right away. That way um, I'm available for the rest of the day mentally, fully, not thinking about like, oh, I need to work out. And then also not trying to squeeze it in into the scraps of time. So um, we're going to get this done. We're going to start it off nice and strong for Monday with some high intensity cardio. Um, it's a new phase at F45, so I don't know exactly how much weights um, will be involved. A lot of times the cardio workouts do have weight training included, so we'll see what we have, um, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to get nice and sweaty. We're going to start off the week strong. Um, yesterday was actually Easter. So I had a wonderful day of celebrating and enjoying yummy food. And um, so today we're just picking up right where we left off. There was definitely like no overindulging, but I for sure ate my peanut butter pie and it was delicious and I have no qualms about it. So I'm just going to continue on with what I always do. Water, protein, working out right? Like there's not on and off for me. There's just like life. And so, um, anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get it done. 
bright and early Monday oh, morning. We are done and we are worked. Look at the sweat. Oh my goodness. Tough, but always worth it. All right, you guys, it is a few hours later and I just got out of the shower. It's almost dark. That workout that you saw was a heavy lifting leg day workout. I've been using the um, Peloton app. Rebecca Kennedy made a new four day split for weightlifting that I've really been enjoying and really challenging myself to lift the heaviest weights that I own. Um, <laughs> I don't have anything heavier than a 50 pound dumbbell and I don't have a barbell at home. So what, what had been happening was I was using like the 35s because they're easier to hold and I still get like a good burn in my legs and it's still challenging. But obviously if I can lift the 50s and hold them, then that's what I should be doing so that I keep progressing. So this program has really pushed me to basically use the heaviest weight that I can, especially for legs. So today was all leg focused. I love, um, I actually really love lifting legs and, but it's also like the hardest because they're your largest muscle. And so, you know, it's a challenge, but I did use the 50s and the 35s for the entire workout, which the last time I did this workout, I was using the 50s, 35s, and I used the 25s. So I kind of dropped down in weight for the last little bit. So I really pushed myself with that and um, it was a challenge. And then after that, I wanted to do an incline walk for 30 minutes, but I ran out of time. I was only able to do 15. So all in all today, I only got to work out for 45 minutes, but that is the story of mom life sometimes. So um, anyway, that's what I did today. And I felt pretty strong um, physically, but mentally I was a little worn out sometimes working out after the homeschooling day and after parenting all day is not like giving it my best energy because I just don't have it anymore. Um, but still got out there and did that. So um, this split that's on Peloton is meant to be done the same workouts every week uh, for four to eight weeks. So you're really supposed to try to increase weight as you go and build strength. So. Um, it's been a while since I really focused on like lifting heavy and like I said, I'm lifting the heaviest weights that I own right now. So, you know, I might need to <laughs> come up with something else, but also like holding a dumbbell bigger than a 50 pound dumbbell is just really not feasible. Like they're just huge. Um, so I'm not real sure what I'll do next, but for now this has been a good thing. So that's what we did today legs and incline Wednesday and I just got home from watching my kids kill it at CrossFit um, and so now I am squeezing in my workout really quickly with the little bit of time that I have before dance um, this week has been super super busy and uh, just like lots of different things so I feel like the theme of this week of workout vlog is doing what you can in the amount of time that you have. So again today, I may not get my full workout in that I want to, but that's okay. I'm gonna do what I can do, and I'm gonna start with my weightlifting. So 
um, upper body weightlifting today. Again, focusing on going pretty, pretty heavy. So that's what we're doing today. It is going to be a rest day for me because we are currently on a our first road trip of the 2024 year. Um, we are going to Zion National Park. So I um, am obviously not working out today because we are in the car. And um, this morning I had things to do. I watched my nephews and then took my kids to the bookstore that they had been wanting to go spend gift cards. And now we are driving to our campsite for the weekend. So we're gonna be getting in hiking tomorrow and the next day. And so um, this week though, I mean hiking is a definite workout. Um, and so that will be what we are doing for the rest of the weekend. Um, so hiking two days, we'll count that as low impact steady state cardio. Um, so low impact meaning it's not hard on your joints because you're not running. Um, steady state meaning that your heart rate is at an elevated position for the amount of time you're hiking. Um, your heart rate with hiking generally doesn't spike super high and then dip super low like interval training. It generally stays just steady state which is actually the most effective form of cardio for fat burning so hiking is a really good workout and every time we go hiking both Jake and I will be sore in strange places because you're utilizing a lot of different muscles especially like the smaller muscles in your feet and your ankles for stability your calves you use um, a lot more with hiking than you do even with running, which I know is surprising. And it has to do with the way that your foot is hitting the ground. So anyway, those will be the workouts that I'll be finishing off this week with. So this week of workouts vlog was not just me weightlifting um, every day. Normally that's what I would do. And then I would finish up my week with a high intensity cardio day on the last workout of the week and then I would take my two rest days but this week it's a little bit different and so um, that is what my workouts will be looking like at the end of the week so I wanted to share that with you guys it's Thursday and um, it's a rest day because we're driving tomorrow we'll be hiking and I'll show you guys the trail and did you bring your Apple watch um, I was gonna say I would share with you guys like his heart rate stats just because it's interesting But he forgot it so I won't be able to share that with you, but I'll tell you how far we hiked <laughs> um, And so we're excited about that everybody got new hiking shoes um, and so I'm Gonna be enjoying getting out there outside and exercising which is like Working out outdoors is something that I wish I could do all of the time. I just enjoy that so much more. So anyways, that's the plan and I just wanted to fill you guys in for Thursday rest day. Finished up for Thursday and we did um, a lot of walking and then the hike that we did today was the emerald pools but we did the upper middle and lower and the normal entrance was actually closed so we had to go to the grotto trail and um, walk from there so for today's workout we are at 13,000 steps and um, 5.8 miles and so yeah it was a good one we it's, it does get pretty steep at times. Um, it wasn't like horribly hard, but definitely a good workout. So that is Thursday's workout. All right, it is, whoa, not that way. It is, uh, what day of the week is it? Saturday. Saturday. 
Um, and we are headed back into Zion to hike again. Yesterday we um, hiked a lot inside and then afterwards we obviously walked even more to and from the car and then walked the dogs and so tons of being active well, while we are out here. Um, today we're doing some different hikes and so that is gonna be the last workout of this week because tomorrow is Sunday and the week starts over and on our way home I'll be planning and plotting what I'll be able to complete next week because I will be headed to um, my girls trip with my friend on Friday and so we're not obviously going to be going to the gym so I will need to work out um, Monday through Thursday for four days um, four days is like the absolute minimum for me. So um, Monday through Thursday next week and I'll probably focus a lot more on strength since this week I predominantly did um, cardio with all of the hiking and everything like that. So that is gonna wrap up this week of workouts, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was like a realistic look at leading an active lifestyle um, and just how, you know, you can still go out and do things with your family and still keep being active a priority um, and also not be like so rigid and crazy that you don't leave room for living in your fitness plans. Um, life happens. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me any questions you have down below. And I will see you guys again in my next one really soon.